Hi everyone and welcome back to the Mowing Clothes Show. This video is all about my one year lock anniversary. I've had my watch for an entire one year. That's just mind blowing. You know, I started this journey in the middle of the pandemic and I just have not looked back since guys. My hair is flourishing. I'm flourishing. I'm just so excited in this place I am with my life and I just can't wait to share you guys my hair journey. This video is going to kind of show an evolution of my hair since the very first um, day we installed them until today. And so yes, just sit back, grab some popcorn and I'm going to give you the whole rundown. Again, I really hope um, to share my story. I hope that, you know, I'm going to help, I don't know, this hairstyle become more mainstream because it has just saved me so much time. It's just been such a joy to have and man I just wish I would have known earlier so let's go ahead and make micro lots like a whole trend a whole thing because they deserve all the celebration and glory that they bring so let's get right into this video All right, guys, I just want to introduce you to the newest member of the Beatty family, Frenchie. Oh, look at her. Look at her. She's a Maine Coon. She's just a kitten. And I'm already in love. We got her yesterday. And man, I'm just so excited to have her. Oh, she's so cute. Like, look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, she's being shy. She says, you guys can't see my face right now. Look at her. All right, well, anyways, if you're new to my channel, my name's Monet. I've been locked for one year now. And before I had locks, I had super tight curls. I had 4C type hair. I used so many different protective styles. I mean, I wore braids, passion twist, twist, locks, crochet braids, like all of the above. I love to switch my hair up. That was the type of person I was. I love versatility. I love doing different styles. And so when I decided I wanted locks, I knew I wanted micro locks for that reason because the smaller locks, the more vers versatility they offer. So, and that has been nothing but the truth. I love my micro locks so much. Just last week, I said my favorite thing about myself is my hair and my name. And that just shows you guys how much I love my hair. And I think that's a big deal because of just how often I switched my hair and I haven't even wanted or had the desire to change my hair at all like I love the way it has volume I love how it has length um, and it just it's just so great to have I mean I would spend hours and hours twisting my hair styling my hair especially because I'm so busy I hated using so much time to do my hair it was always a dread so I just love how I can just wake up and go and if you haven't seen my previous videos about previous updates and things like that when I first installed them, make sure to check them out because you can kind of see what my hair was like before. So two big points for me is that I love waking up and taking my bonnet off and walking out the door. And number two, I also love that I have this great balance between volume and length. And that was something that I struggled to get when I was a loose natural, again, super tight curls. So it was kind of hard to find like a good balance between volume and length and I just feel like I've accomplished that pretty pretty well honestly today this is a little bit more on like the length retention side um, because normally my hair is like a little bit more puffy but I just did like two braids back and so that's why it's a little bit longer than normal my hair has obviously grown so much and don't worry I'm gonna give you guys the whole rundown I'm gonna give you all the pictures and things I just want to give you guys a couple details and context before um, you watch my picture evolution or video evolution of that also believe it or not my hair is still not locked completely of course some of them are pretty locked especially at the roots but the ends are extremely loose honestly you could unravel some of them and that's kind of surprising especially since I've had them for a year and that's something that you should expect, especially if you get micro locks, it's gonna take a really, really long time for them to lock completely just because they're so skinny and so small and they're going to unravel. And so unraveling was something I was experiencing a lot a couple months ago where like the whole root of my hair would kind of unravel and then the end would be butted and then um, it would kind of, you know, be loose curls at the end there. 
And so we were kind of forced to do interlocking. If you've watched my journey from the beginning, you could tell or you know that I've kind of had scalp issues. So I was kind of refraining from interlocking just because I'm always in my scalp itching and whatnot, <laughs> scratching, um, just because I've had dry scalp and things. But we were kind of forced to start interlocking just because my hair was unraveling so badly. I'm actually gonna place a picture of my hair. This is before we interlocked or and retied. And it, as you can see, it's really, really bad. It looks like an entire mop on my head. Um, and that's just, that. this was after we washed it. So, you know, when I washed it, you know, it, it unraveled some more. That's just expected. But that's kind of been the biggest problem I've had was unraveling. And I was worried that, you know, some of my, was gonna, my hair was breaking off just because of that. Imagine like it being completely loose and then locked. And so that was not good, especially when I was braiding my hair, I was pulling pieces out of the lock which was just so concerning. It got kind of got so bad that I didn't even want to braid my hair at night because I felt like I was breaking my hair off so badly. So that's kind of where I am now, finally interlocked. My whole head is not interlocked. It's just specific, um, especially at the front, the front's interlocked and some in the back that were kind of having trouble. So without further ado, I do want to show you guys my hair from beginning to end because who doesn't love seeing how your hair has changed in a year? So let's get right into that. <laughs> 